It's a beautiful day. Hello WA and welcome to the City of Swan. Thanks for joining us once again today as we feature one of Western Australia's most beautiful and progressive regions. From tourism to livability to investment, the City of Swan has it covered. Covering just over a thousand square kilometres, the City of Swan is unique. Unique in that it has one of the most visited and diverse tourist destinations in Australia and unique in what it offers people who live here. It's also an area of substantial growth. Almost 140,000 people live in the city of Swan. It's a region consisting of some of the fastest growing communities and suburbs in Australia. It's a mix of both inner city and rural life. A region of diversity that's also very proud of its strong historical background. But there's so much more to this popular area of Western Australia. Tens of thousands of people visit each year to experience not only the Swan Valley, but also to experience the city's Aboriginal and European heritage sites, elevating the Swan region to a must-see destination. Established in 1829, Guildford based its settlement on a country town in England. And while it's seen many changes over the years, it's still kept its important historical significance. Heritage trails run through Guildford's streets and parks, and its rich history and proximity to the Swan Valley continue to charm thousands of tourists who visit each year. As you make your way around Guildford, you get the feeling you've landed in a charming little village that time has forgotten. Guildford is virtually an island encircled by the Swan and Helena rivers and is perfectly suited to be explored on foot. Guildford's fascinating historical buildings tell many a story of the village, with four self-guided heritage walk trails and interpretive panels taking you on a historic journey, starting and finishing at the old Guildford Courthouse, which now houses the Swan Valley Visitors Centre. Even though development didn't commence until 1886, Midland was first occupied by settlers in 1832. Now the City of Swan's administration base, Midland was the site of the Midland Railway workshops for over 80 years. And at the end of the Second World War, it was the junction of the Midland, Upper Darling Range and Eastern Railways. The railway workshops had a profound and lasting influence on the town, and during the First World War, a large number of the workshop's workforce joined the armed forces and are today commemorated by a peace statue at the site. In 1923, a four-sided clock was placed on the top of the town hall by local residents as a memorial and has become one of Midland's best-known landmarks. The establishment of the Midland Redevelopment Authority in 2000 has had a significant effect on how this historic town has been revitalised, a move that has boosted economic growth, tourism potential and business investment. The Swan Valley occupies an area of 105 square kilometres, but it wasn't until the 1920s that it achieved a position of clear dominance as a vineyard district. When Dutch explorer Willem de Vlaming first ventured up the river here in 1697, he named it the Swan River after noticing a large number of black swans. Although the French made their way up the Swan as far as Whiteman Bridge in 1801, it wasn't until 1829 that European settlement first took place here in the valley. The expansion of the railways in the late 1800s and an increase in the population after the gold rushes and European immigration saw the start of many communities and subdivisions in the Swan Valley in the 1900s. Today the number of wineries in the region continues to grow and in 2014 the region celebrated 180 years of winemaking. History on show everywhere you look in the city. There is so much to see, take in and experience. Now don't go anywhere, we'll be back very soon to take a look at why people enjoy living in the city of Swan.
As mentioned earlier, nearly 140,000 people live in the city of Swan. And in 2017, 43,000 live in the community of Ellenbrook alone, which is predicted to grow to about 70,000 people in the next 20 years. Since its inception in 1994, Ellenbrook has continued to be recognised as an industry leader in community development and in 2015 was named world's best master plan community. Located on the doorstep of the popular and picturesque Swan Valley, Ellenbrook for over 20 years has built a strong reputation for quality traditional neighbourhood planning, affordable housing and environmental sustainability. From the very beginning, Ellenbrook was all about building a thriving community, a place that would be healthy and sustainable by providing the best conditions for people to enjoy living, working and playing. Only 30 minutes from Perth City, Ellenbrook is close to everything you'd ever need. The community has eight villages or neighbourhoods and a mixed-use town centre at its heart and provides a quality lifestyle that's within reach of everyone. In the town centre, you'll find plenty of shopping, eating and entertainment options. And new businesses are complementing a community that continues to grow on the back of ongoing interest from people who are keen to settle in the town. Well, basically, I mean, I, I live local, uh, so it's uh, nice and close to home. Uh, we decided to open here because it's a growing suburb. Um, it's a beautiful place to be. Um, there was nothing quite like it around here, so we wanted to bring something that so belongs a bit more to Leatherville or the city and bring it down to, to Ellenbrook so people get to experience a little bit more of the, personally, the Italian culture and the Italian cuisine. Um, it's a great community around here. Lovely, lovely people that supported us um, since the beginning. And, you know, if, they, if we had to do it again, it would do it in a second, no problem. Ellenbrook has won numerous awards during its development and is well known for its expertise in providing quality, innovative concepts that enhance this popular community. And the latest concept is right next to the town centre. Innovo provides two-storey house and land packages on a green title and is just a 250 metre walk from the newly announced Ellenbrook Bus Rapid train station. LWP, who have developed Ellenbrook and the Department of Housing, have partnered with four of Perth's leading builders to build two, three and four bedroom, two-storey homes in the new Drummond Precinct, bringing a touch of the likes of Subiaco to Ellenbrook. The Innovo range of terrace homes will be located in the surrounding streets of the new Botanical Style Centre Park, and clever and sustainable home designs will maximise available space referencing the architectural style of the old colonial period. Innovo has been designed with multiple living options in mind, including accommodating the needs of young couples and singles, families and retirees. A new standard in modern living will provide homes that occupy low maintenance and are the first of their kind to be green titles in WA. There's no doubt what makes a really great town centre are people living in and amongst it. That's what gives it its energy and vibe. Innovo was designed exactly with that in mind. It's a great walk to everything precinct and it's the latest in Ellenbrook's long history of transformational projects. We think it's a great addition to an already thriving town centre. Annie's Landing is the eighth and final village at Ellenbrook and was designed for people looking for a more tranquil retreat. Away from it all, however still close enough to the town centre, the new estate takes its inspiration from the picturesque Avon Valley. Comprising of 116 acres, Annie's Landing will be home to 1,000 homes with a vibrant village centre providing the essential community facilities such as a primary school and recreation facilities and will provide the final piece in the jigsaw that completes Ellenbrook. Ellenbrook is an impressive story, and in the last 22 years, this community has grown from a sand quarry to become Australia's most awarded new town. Ellenbrook was always gonna be more than just a satellite suburb. It's a town with its own unique identity, and it takes pride of place in a growing city of Swan.
in the city of Swan, the development of new community-focused estates is so important to the ongoing growth of the region. And here in Brabham, the words community and friendly say everything about the family-focused Ariella private estate. We are young, growing family, and we are looking for the place that we can call home. Um, I found this place is very perfect for me, myself, um, my kids and family. We are going to get a new school with the OL, with a lot of facilities over here. I'm working in the Swan Valley, so this place is very near from my workplace. Um, this is multicultural community, uh, with growing so fast. I make a lot of friends over here, and I think this is the perfect place to bring your family here. On the doorstep of the picturesque Swan Valley, Cedar Woods Ariella Estate is a special place where families can thrive and enjoy the future benefits of a modern school and sports oval within the estate. Ariella is different to other estates. There's a strong sense of community where neighbours are happy to provide a helping hand. It's somewhere where residents can plan on staying for a long time. And with everything on your doorstep, you can see why there's so much interest in this new estate. Ariella is a great estate for young families. A lot of our residents are really enjoying being part of this local community. They've even started their own Facebook page to talk to each other and share information about the estate and welcome people, the new residents, to come into the estate. It's got a great family feel. My husband and I decided to downsize and upgrade our lifestyles as the kids were getting older. We found Ariella and we love it. It's quiet, it's peaceful. When we bought our block of land, I decided to start a Facebook page. With that Facebook page, we get to watch over each other, make sure that everything's okay on each other's properties as they're being built. And in turn, we've managed to become friends, form bonds, and become a real community. We definitely made the right move coming out here. We've never looked back, and we're just gonna keep looking forward. We have great plans for the local community. We have a primary school, is going to be in the estate. We have a district oval, and that will be a great facility for everybody to use. There will be a wetlands that will be towards the end of the estate, but it will be a great area for families to use. We're just trying to create a great community feel for our local residents. As well as strong residential growth, the progressive development of the region's commercial and retail industry is providing a good positive story for the city. The likes of Ellenbrook, Midland, Hazelmere and Bullsbrook are providing a range of opportunities for people to develop their business and at the same time attract new business operators to the city. Classified as a strategic metropolitan centre by the state government, Midland's catchment area extends far beyond the city's boundaries to the Perth Hills, Chittering, Jinjin, the Wheatbelt and Avon Valley. From a commercial perspective, Midland is situated where major state, interstate and metropolitan transport routes converge and is an important central precinct for the state. Malaga is the City of Swan's major industrial area, with over 3,000 business operations providing 17,000 employees, with many of these being local residents. 70% of the workforce in Malaga, which covers some 650 hectares, is made up mainly of manufacturing, construction, wholesale, trade and retail. And its easy access to main transport routes makes it an integral hub for business operators throughout WA. The Hazelmere Industrial Area is located next to Perth's domestic and international airports, and over recent years has seen a number of significant developments in the area. Several high-profile national and international companies have chosen to set up their operations in Hazelmere and see it as an ideal location to establish and further grow their business. 25 kilometres north of Midland is Bullsbrook, a location being considered for major future development of its commercial and light industrial areas. While the area continues to be used primarily for farming purposes, future opportunities include provision for commercial and light industrial companies, with Bullsbrook considered an important northern gateway for both established and new industrial business operators. We're still one of the uh, strongest growing councils within the metropolitan area, and uh, 
We have a few reasons for that, and that's because we have a um, good infrastructure here. We also have uh, close proximity to the Swan Valley. Um, we also have a very good job ratio here. So we have 103 jobs for every 100 people living in the city of Swan. And that means that mean that everybody here works in the city of Swan, but it means we do have that employment ratio for people that want to come here. So overall, this, the city is a great place to live, and I think people are recognising that and moving here. Local product grown right here in the Swan Valley is just one of many reasons why this area is so popular, not just with tourists who come from all over the world, but for locals too. Only 25 minutes from Perth's city centre, the Swan Valley is recognised as Perth's premium food and wine destination. You really could lock yourself away in the valley for days. As well as being Western Australia's oldest wine growing region, the Swan Valley has earned itself a great reputation for dining, recently being recognised as Australia's first humane food region. A Mediterranean climate, ideal soil conditions and plenty of quality available land provides growers with no shortage of opportunities to grow and supply fresh produce for sale at roadside farm gates including the much-famed table grapes, which are the ideal treat during Perth's hot summers. The Swan Valley is blessed with plenty of tasting options, from honey and chocolate to cheese, cider, spirits and handcrafted ales. And visitors can burn off some calories on the Swan Valley Heritage Cycling Trail or over a game of super golf. We're on Great Northern Highway, right in the heart of the Swan Valley. And today we're very lucky to be able to enjoy two experiences in one. Family owned Moorish Nuts has come a long way since Archie and Marie first prepared half kilo batches of their signature caramel coated nuts in a rented townhouse in Cottesloe and is now supplying savoury nibbles on Virgin Airlines and Jetstar's in-flight menu. This has to be one of the best parts about visiting Moorish Nuts, the taste testing. Mmm, that is good. Using only premium selected nuts from Australian producers, everything that's made here is made in its own individual way and is an ideal gift for all occasions. At Moorish, you can see how it's all put together from start to finish and see firsthand how the likes of peanut brittle and some of their other specialties are made. In a nutshell, you'd be nuts not to enjoy a visit to Moorish Nuts. And you'd be surprised that there's more to this place than just nuts. And you can place your orders online. I did say we'd be enjoying two experiences in one, and right next door to Moorish Nuts is Mondo Nougat. The Mondo Nougat story dates back to 1989, when the Romeo family migrated from Italy. And after initially setting up a cakes and desserts business, working from home, they opened up a patisserie that specialised in nougat in Midland, before opening Mondo Nougat in the valley in 2005. Mondo's nougat is definitely one for the sweet tooth, so I'm well and truly in my element. I could easily spend all day here. And the Romeo family gives you an opportunity to check out their famous cooking secrets by their special factory viewing area. Today the family pride themselves on producing what many people consider to be the world's finest nougat using Australia's best ingredients, ensuring that la dolce vita, which means the sweet life, well and truly continues. As well as the sensational nougat selection, I definitely recommend sampling the family's homemade gelati, biscotti and cakes. And let's not forget Mondo's very famous cheesecake. What a fantastic way to get the best out of what the Swan Valley has on show. Moorish nuts and Mondo nougat, two experiences in one on the Great Northern Highway. In the Swan Valley, in 1980, we bought the property that we were on and um, built a studio, which is just going to be for my own sculpture practice. But it grew into a um, now what is now internationally recognised sculpture park gallery, adjoining my studio and uh, and exhibiting artists from all over the world, pretty much sculptors from all over the world. We 
we exhibit up and coming artists and, and also highly uh, recognized overseas artists and so on. But we also provide a um, artist in residence uh, uh, facility where artists from overseas and some local artists actually were able to work on site here in my studio. Well, there is so much happening in the Swan Valley, so many wonderful venues and so on, but I believe that uh, it's definitely worth visiting a Gombo Gallery, it's, which is quite a unique venue, the oldest established privately owned gallery, free, free to public, that has a wonderful diversity of, of art, indoor and outdoor, international quality, definitely worth the visit. The city of Swan, one of Perth's most visited areas. And after what we've shown you today, it's little wonder why so many people are choosing to live here as well. Well, we're done and dusted for today on this, our second last episode of this series. So make sure you tune in next week where we're going to show you the best of the series and thus the best of Western Australia. Don't forget we are on Facebook, so come join us. Until next week, where we'll see you somewhere in WA. It's a beautiful day.